Gentlemen, good morning, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to launch a token on Ethereum. Step by step, so all you need to do is follow this video and you can launch on Ethereum. I'll go through the steps completely. I'll show you what to do and give you some advice on what works on Ethereum. So I'm on Remix Ethereum. The contract I'm gonna use is gonna be in the link in the description. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste and use that. It's a very simple contract, nothing complex. And literally it takes two minutes to deploy. So I'm on Remix Ethereum, we're gonna use this to deploy. And I'm just going to type in a token name here. So I'll call it shrimp. And we'll go over to here. And I've got my contract here. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. Now, there are a few things we need to go through and change. I'll explain what they are so you can do the same and you know exactly what you're doing. Here you want to input. A lot of people typically put in, you know, the telegram. So you can just put the telegram link. So when people see the contract, they can, you know, find it and then they can go to your Telegram. And that's how a lot of people find uh, tokens early on ETH. It's more so on Ethereum than BSC. So it's important for me, if you don't want people buying and you really want it controlled, don't add anything. Maybe just add your website and that'll be it. Now there's a name, we're gonna go through all of these shortly. So I've got my wallets here, so it's important to change your wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And now we're gonna put in my wallet. So there is a marketing and a dev fee. You do not need to use the dev fee. I think on the contract it shows as treasury. So you can use that as a buyback wallet or you can just use that as a dev or development fee. Now we're going to change the name. So we're going to call this Shrimpini. And we're going to change the ticker to shrimps. Now total supply, you can edit that. You can change it, whatever you want. This is the max transaction. So I'm going to put it down to one. Now that means the max transaction, you can change this on ETH scan later, is 0.1%. That is 1%, so it's one, 10 of 1,000 is 1% 1 for the max transactions. I'll leave it at 1%. Yeah, there is a buy fee, so you can put in your buy fee if you want. So let's put in a 10%, 5% buy fee. And we're going to do a five LP and we'll do a free marketing and we'll do a one dev tax. There is a transfer, so you can change that. If people you want people to be taxed on transfer, you can change that as well. But that's the total fee. So it's the marketing, liquidity and treasury, which is the dev tax, like I explained. Um, I'll show you how to change that and verify the contract on um, EVSCAN shortly. So after that, we want to search name. And this is going to be the name of the contract. So we're going to call it shrimp. And that's pretty much it for the contract. There's not too much to change. Obviously variables, if you want to edit total supply, but it's literally, this contract is very simple. It's, it's literally just, you know, a tax contract, native token, and that's pretty much it. So now we're going to go over to here and we're going to click auto compile. That I just make sure, so it compiles again, all the changes I've made. And we're going to go over to, let me check, I've got enable optimization on. So make sure that's ticked, enable optimization. And we've got an injected web free. It, sometimes it says injected web free, sometimes it said injected uh, provider. So you want to click MetaMask. Go over to here and we want to find shrimp contract, whatever the name of it is. So you know where we changed the name, that's the one you want to click. And we're going to deploy. So notice will come up saying blah, blah, blah. It's going to uh, charge you. Now with Ethereum, the, the token prices can change and fluctuate. So sometimes in the morning or times where it's not too much heavy on the gas, you can actually get in very cheap in terms of you might deploy for $60, $80. Sometimes it's free 400. So we just click confirm and we'll see what happens. Sometimes it just doesn't go through. Sometimes it takes a while. So you might want to just cancel the transaction. But typically, we can go over to here and you can see. So that's deployed, which is perfect. And it costs me $112. So here's our contract. And that's our token. So now we are going to verify it. Now, what you do to verify, that means people can see what exactly is in the contract. Now, you might not want to do that first of all. So that's our um, Solidity version. 
and you want to click MIT license because that's what it is enable optimization and you want to copy exactly what's in the contract here and once that's verified people will be able to go through have a look at the contract etc then we're going to add liquidity now once we've added liquidity we'll be able to buy and sell once we switch the trading on so here's our contract you can see it here and we've got everything lined up so we can put trading status and that will make us tradable so we're going to go over to uniswap now and we need our contract address which is this you can put it up on dex tools dex tools if you want to so that's it so when you why i'm putting up on dex tools and not dex screener it will not show up until there's trades made i believe on dex screener so you can do that to chart it and to see what's happening and like I said, we're going to add liquidity now. So we're going to launch our token. We're going to go over to pools. Now we want to go to version two liquidity for now. Create the pair. And we're going to add the total supply. And we're going to add 0 0.5. Now you want to add at least one, L one ETH to the LP. I don't know how much that is. Uh, I think it's about $50, but we'll go with it for now just as, as an example. Don't think anyone's going to buy. Highly unlikely. And the thing you must notice is always the gas is a bit more than BSC, than Dogechain, than Solana, etc. But obviously, when tokens do pop off on ETH, they do very well. And they can, you know go into the millions without much effort and without much marketing. So we're going to supply that now. Bear in mind, this is a verified contract. So uh, people will be able to see the functions. People like it when you renounce. So there are a lot of bots on Ethereum. So I would guess, obviously, do anti-bot or wait for the bots to sell and then move on from there. So we can see if the liquidity has come through now on here. So there is a liquidity pool now, so we can go over uh, to Uniswap. Maybe we can put the trading on now. So I'll go through the functions in the contract. So connect your wallet. And I'll show, go through the contract with you. So very quickly, so the video isn't too long. If you want to airdrop, you use these. If you want to burn tokens, it has to be in the deployer wallet. There's a stock balance here, which will go to the contract address. So a portion of that, there's a, like a, I think it's 0.8 or 1% uh, on the sell by default in the contract goes to this balance. So when there's buyers and sells, you'll get some balance in there. Once that's done, you can go over to here and you can type in 100, which pulls out 100%, write the contract uh, there and then it'll, that balance will go to the marketing wallet, I believe. A uh, cool down, you can put in a time frame which will be, so you can just put true or false. False switches it off. Or you can put true. Lock, obviously, um, that's if you want to lock through the contract. When you want to renounce, you just write this. That's your renounce done. That's quite important. There's liquidity, and by default, the auto liquidity will go, the LP tokens will go to the wallet you deployed from. You can change the market in default. If you renounce, you can't change any of these, by the way. Um, and then... These are, you know, you probably won't use too, too much. Set marketing wallet. These are the max transactions. So remember I said it's out of a thousand. So if you want 1%, you just put 10. And the max wallet, you just put 10. If you want no, you just put a thousand. I would suggest when you renounce, put all the max wallets up. Bear in mind, if this is a low tax token, there will be some front run bots if there is a high max transaction. So very early on, I wouldn't do that. Um, these are to change the fees. So we can change, you know, if you want to put a higher fee, you can do all that, etc. This is a swap back setting that will have, um, you know, when you transfer, if you need any help with that, not when you transfer, when people sell, there is a swap back setting. I've got it set on the default, I think a thousand or three thousand tokens. So again, these are the change in the wallets, transfer, 
uh, etc. If you want to send this to another wallet or you want to you've deployed for someone else and you can transfer the ownership of the wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trading on now and then we're just going to purchase it at, uh, like normal. And this should be tradable now. Have I got the right wallet connected? Let's have a look. My bad. Make sure it's the right wallet connected. So that wasn't, let's see, that should be the right one. Yeah, so if I would have done that, that transaction would have failed or cost me a lot. So we'll go through and put true here. And then always double check that red note is saved uh, me. So it's it's still, you know, 80, it's like a dollar or something to, you know, put a transaction or activate the contract. So bear that in mind, if you are doing lots of functions, it's better to do it on deployment with that. So we can see now how we're looking. So we've got the total liquidity in there. Oh, there's bots buying. So that's it. Wow. It's tradable now. So we can go ahead and let's have a look and see what's happening with it. Be interesting. I can't believe people have actually brought or sniped or what. <laughs> so yeah, that that's pretty much it. You've got your contract <laughs> 95 market cap. Yeah. So yeah, people, these are obviously bots buy in. They're probably going to sell. I'll leave it up and then see what happens. So it's very interesting to watch <laughs> people buy in. I can't believe it. So yeah, your contract is now live. So what you want to do is you want to lock the liquidity. Make sure everything's safe. Make sure everything's done. I would suggest locking for 30 days plus maybe 90 days, depending on the length of your project. So Unicrypt is the most popular way to lock. It's quite expensive. I want to say expensive, but... In terms of what we're looking at, um, you can lock on Pink Cell. Pink Lock is free. There's loads of others as well, but you can literally um, just put your address in here, and I'll show you how much it costs. Um, my bad. You want to put the the easiest way to find it is to go here. People are actually buying. My God, that's the liquidity pair, I believe, and that will find the pair. I think you can get it from Uniswap as well if you don't. So you just put the max amount and yeah, would you, you lock from there. So it's 0, 0.0 ETH. Um, I don't know why it's not showing up. Maybe I've locked the wrong wallet, but you lock through there and that's literally pretty much it. So let's go ahead and see if we're at 100K market cap or something. <laughs> 270 i'm just gonna leave this i don't even know what the tax is on it i can't remember was it five percent we set but that's pretty much it it's quite interesting um now you know why there's a lot of rugs on these kind of tokens because i mean it's not even showing up but yeah i'll leave it and see what happens but yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any questions please let me know and take care